Welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today we're playing Mario Golf Super Rush and we've just finished up the introduction gameplay tutorial for Adventure Golf and we are moving on to try the rookie course. If you haven't watched that first video, I'll put it in the links in the description down below. All right, let's talk to this guy. So you passed the basic lessons already? That's great. Now you're ready to play a few holes as a test. Are you ready now? Yep. Want to learn how shift can affect the accuracy of your shots? Yes. Shots can shift based on a variety of factors, including power, lie, and club selection. Shift is displayed next to the shot gauge. After setting a shot's power, shift is determined at random. If you set a shot's power in an area of the gauge with low shift, you'll get a more accurate result in terms of both distance and control. The area of the shot gauge with low shift is called the safe zone. If you set a shot's power in an area of the gauge with high shift, it'll be much less accurate, both in distance and control. The area of the shot gauge with high shift is called the risk zone. The exclamation icon will be displayed if you set a shot's power in the risk zone. To hit accurate shots, use less power and aim for the safe zone. When hitting from bad lies, like out of the rough or a bunker, the safe zone will be smaller. The bigger the risk zone, the more likely it is that a shift will end up affecting your shot. Longer clubs like the driver have smaller safe zones and clubs that don't hit the ball as far. Consider both safe and risk zones when selecting a club and how shift could affect the distance and accuracy of each shot. Great, so this is pretty simple. You're going to play three holes on the rookie course, finish in five over par or better to pass. That's it. Don't worry about running from hole to hole just yet. Focus on making good shots and scoring under the limit. Okay. Five under par or better, here we go. <laughs> Wind speed, 11 miles per hour. So this is the first hole. It's a lot of sand, if I do say so myself. Ready? Hole one, okay, so let's look at the top down view. We're gonna drive straight out, it looks like. And then dog leg left. All right. So, my driver, I don't think I need to really adjust much for this, so let's smack it. Nice shot. Well, not quite as far as I would have liked, but it'll do the job. Looks like I'll be hitting uphill a little bit, but that's okay. Let's see. So I don't want to hit all the way up. 116 yards. If I use my six, that'd be better. Hmm. Let's do our six. There we go. So we're gonna just hit it pretty much full. And hope for the best. Nice shot. Come on, get up there. Oh yeah. I don't think I could have asked for better there. <laughs> nice huh? Okay, so it looks like we're cutting a little downhill and a little to the left. So we're gonna just... It looks like it's barely left. But we are going to get... Oh shoot. Oh thank goodness. Nice. Say I way overshot that. I should wait till it comes back down, I guess, on putting. So we're doing pretty good. Second hole. Looks a lot like the first one. We're just going around the outside. It's a big tree, it looks like, in the middle of the way. It's gonna block some of our view on this one. Ready? So we just wanna hit it as far in as we can. really downhill. That's gonna be really kind of a bummer because I think this tree yeah, is gonna be right in the way of the next shot. So I could lay up. It's downhill. So if I went like here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clear that tree. I guess I could try. It doesn't look like it. Not with that club. 
can't clear that tree. So what we're gonna do is get over this way. Try to kind of lay up. Let's do that. We're gonna use our nine. And do maybe seventy five percent power. And get around that tree. Because that thing's a menace. I'll just stay on the fairway. Okay. So we don't want to hit too far here. Well, that's not enough. Shoot. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we're gonna chip on. So we probably wanna hit the less than halfway. Soul's not going so good. I really mucked up that one shot. Okay, we got a pretty long putt and it looks to be a little down hill to our left. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, man. You gotta be kidding. That was a joke. Double, bo Double bogey, oh no. I can't believe that putt didn't go in. Wind speed seven miles an hour, a little bit downhill. Ready? Okay, so this is our final hole. Take a look. That's a really straight shot, 138 yards downhill. Okay. So we don't want to hit it quite that far. Come on, baby, roll. Damn. Should have hit it harder. Okay, so now we're going downhill. Let's look a little this way. Go. Get it on the green. Oh, this putt's gonna be really hard. It's really pushing downhill to our left. So we're gonna aim up this way. And probably go like halfway. No, not hard enough. <laughs> so we finished at plus two. Nice! So we passed. Not with flying colors, but we passed. Level up! Level up! Alright. I think I want to be able to hit farther. I feel like I'm not hitting very far. Stamina. So we're gonna up that twice. Nice, you crushed that test. No, I didn't. Great job learning the basics. On to the next challenge. Hey, hey. No, Which is right now. Surprise! For this test, you'll need to complete three holes within a time limit and score well, too. You have ten minutes to finish. I hate time stuff. Can we just stop and talk about this? Time stuff is a bitch. <laughs> I don't like being rushed on things. It just really angers me. You have 10 minutes to finish a par 3, a par 4, and a par 5 in a total score of 3 over par or better. Wow, I barely got that not rushing. This is what's called speed golf, so you have to run to your ball after each shot. Are you ready? How do I run? You gonna tell me how to run? I'll take it from here. Leave the timer and scorekeeping to me. In this practice round, you'll be running all over the course. Want me to explain how movement works? I sure do. Tilt left stick to run in that direction. Press A to jump. Press down while running to dash. It's faster than running, but it uses stamina. Okay, so B's dash, A's jump. You can also push opponents out of the way while you're dashing. 
Press L when your stamina bar is green to special dash. This lets you run super fast, but uses up stamina quickly. Okay. If you run into an opponent while special dashing, you can knock them off balance. Well, that's good to know. When it's time to take a shot, the controls are the same as before. Just remember that you'll need to run to your ball with L and dash with down, or B. Why does it say B? It's so confusing. And keep an eye on that stamina gauge. It'll replenish if you take a break from dashing, so try to plan accordingly. Okay. Here we go. I'm really stressed out now. I hate this type of stuff. <laughs> it's just not my my way of playing games. Now oh, this is a tricky fairway. Ready? Okay, so we're gonna hit as fast as we freaking can, I guess. We got places to be. Nice shot. Oh no. Oh no. It's downhill. That was a terrible shot. Not a good start, guys. Not a good start. Alright, what's this hole? Is there even a fairway? I mean, what is this? It's like six fairways in one. It's confusing. Okay, we'll just go straight. Ready? over a huge sand trap. Right. The courses I really just so far think the course design is terrible. At least in this practice thing. Ready? It's really not good. Like looking back at other golf games I've played. Oh, I or even uh, I don't know what the other one's called. I think it's, one. it's like a more realistic golf game. And it had better fairway design too. This just feels like they're trying to do something chaotic and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know. It's just maybe me. Okay, this is such a messed up course. Nice shot. Chase it, girl. Chase it. I'm in the sand, aren't I? Oh no. Why did I get in the sand? This is not off to a good start, guys. We 
don't want to hit into another sand trap. So let's go this way. sand, so I'm gonna aim this way. Just tick in case it bounces. This looks like we're going a little bit downhill. Nice shot! Run. Keep jumping. <laughs> I don't mean to keep jumping. I'm on the green. Yay! How many strokes am I at? Five? I'm doing really shitty. I think I have to put this in. I don't see that happening. Oh, so close. Oh, bogey. Did I pass? Oh, thank God. Nice! Let's do it again. That's stressful. Did not enjoy. <laughs> I don't like stuff on timers. I just like to be mellow and that's just too stressful. Okay, we need more stamina, that's for sure. My speed, I feel slow, so let's go up one more. Yes. I've been putting all my stuff into skills and not putting anything into stamina or speed because I was like, what do I care about that stuff? Yeah. I don't plan on playing races. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be forced upon me. You passed. Nice work. That means you finished within the time limit and got a nice score to boot. Now you're ready for a qualifying round. Just head to the gate behind the clubhouse when you're ready to give it a try. Okay, let's go qualify. By the way, even though you can play freely now, don't forget what it took to get here. Okay, so looks like that's the end of the tutorial. Keep practicing your shots and refining your techniques. Once a student of the game, always a student of the game. Okay, so that's the rest of the tutorial. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. It helps a lot. Also subscribe, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.